Okay, we're in our Super Smash Bros. week. Here, and this guy is carrying the, these are the final three Smash Bros. characters. Again, these supposed weakers have been wrong about the past three characters. So you think that they're going to be right this time? Well, nope, they will not be. Before the ARMS character was announced, everybody was saying the next character has has to be Dante, but it was not. Everybody was saying it was going to be Crash Bandicoot or, po or Silmon Rep. It was not a Crash Bandicoot or a Silmon Rep. It's funny how Crash Bandicoot is like in every single, you know, weak character. Oh, the next character is Crash Bandicoot. Next character is Crash Bandicoot. Mark says he doesn't get in and it's just, you know, he gets Tracer instead. Uh, you know, Crash fans will probably be super angry like the, you know, the ones who grew up in the 90s, you know. They say, how oh, dare they put Overwatch in Smash Bros. They only put Overwatch in Smash Bros. to appeal towards the modern gamers. Us classic gamers are being left behind. And I'll probably get to see the same amount of salt as the Xeno fans, essentially, when Sephiroth was revealed. But yep, there we go. So the, that, so the first character is Warriors from Tales, and a very highly requested character in Japan. Not really popular in America because the series don't work, because anime games don't sell in America, essentially. Besides Persona <laughs> and Final Fantasy and, you know, some others. Crash Bandicoot, another very high. And then we have the last character that makes this week just make no sense. Frisk from Undertale. Why would they add another character from... Why would they add Frisk from Undertale, okay? Some people are saying that the reason why Frisk has a chance is because, oh, Undertale didn't get any other spirits of Sans. But nobody gives a crap about Undertale, okay? The only people who give a crap about Undertale are the same people who plays Earthbound Endlessly and say it's the greatest game of all time. And then they'll go out and say Undertale is the greatest game of all time, too. Okay? They're the same people, okay? Earthbound fans and Undertale fans are the same people, okay? You know, but yep, there we go. That's basically it for this video. Goodbye.